Hello and welcome back to SpeedyNet. Where, guys, look, look at this. <laughs> I have uh, been, well, sorta of balancing a little bit, maybe. <laughs> Uh, you know, just checking if I did stuff right the last time, because uh, I must admit, I was a little bit tired last time I recorded, but I just wanted to play, so I did, <laughs> against my better judgment. Uh, but I did have to error check my, uh, my work, <laughs> or, well, work, uh, <laughs> my, uh, sloppiness, <laughs> yeah. But I also, uh, whilst I was doing that, I thought, let's check up on our good old friend, the aluminium plant. <laughs> and look at this, I think we left it at a production of, what was it, 270 tons of metal? It is now making 900 tons. And then there is still this train to come in with, uh, I don't even know how much bauxite, 121 tons of bauxite. Now, you might be wondering, like, but Damage, how did you do that? Well, guys, I have the answer for you right here. This one scrap train here, what I did was I uh, timetabled it to see how the uh, time interval is between deliveries. And as you can see, it is roughly uh, 10 days. Maybe a little bit more, maybe 12 days. It is below 15 days. Now that's the important bit, because that basically means that each month there will be at least one delivery. And guess what the thingy says about this? Production steps up if two or more cargoes are delivered within a month of each other. So having 12 days for the way uh, to the scrapyard and 12 days back, or 13, means that there is always within a month a delivery of scrap. Therefore, production goes up and the scrap itself is already pretty good. Because uh, I was worried that I might be over the 15 day mark, but I'm not. And look at it, 900 tons of metal. I know, because I've been checking, keeping an eye on this, that the one metal train is not enough. But for the time being, uh, we're not going to worry about that too much. We have this here to take care of soon, the engineering supplies, and there is still the town of Seston to hook up, uh, which we did not do last time. Uh, and also these other bauxite mines. So, yeah, we have uh, quite a bit of uh, stuff to do. Uh, and... Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just excited, you know, yeah, let's do stuff, let's build things. Also, yeah, you're, I mean, it's not about the amount of scrap, it's just the fact that it's there. Uh, and to be fair, you know, I've had uh, my eye on the scrap train uh, to see if it would, you know, do the things I needed to do. Uh, I don't know where it is, I believe this is our scrap train, is it? Look at its max speed though, and that's because of the the wagons that we have. It's only 112. Now, it's not about the gear ratio, because that's all good, you know, and it can carry all the weight and whatnot. It's just that these wagons are just so slow. And because we're not that far off the 15 uh, day mark, you know, and just one, one traffic jam, basically, or one surface and a bit of wait time, like this train's gonna experience. Say so what? <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, um, oh, Mandem is expanding. Now, so I am considering using some fancy, expensive wagon that is faster, so the train can travel a bit faster. But on the other hand, a lot of our trains can only go 112 kilometers an hour, like this one, which is in this mess of tracks. So I'm not. I'm. I'm undecided about it. You know. I don't. I don't know if we should uh, do uh, faster, expensive wagons because I don't really expect that much gain from it. So. Having said that, we promised to do a thing last time, and I am gonna keep that promise. Uh, no, that was the wrong buton. But this is also interesting. <laughs> I'm just pressing butons. Uh, but this is interesting to uh, to have a look at because. Uh, it's been a while since we last looked at this, and the uh, the others are still taking their cut. But in the end, we are making up quite a hefty bit of money now. I mean, it's not like we're increasing it that much, 
but it is increasing, you know, and look at this, like 300,000 with the road vehicles. Now we are making a net loss on our aircraft. Uh, what, what? Immediate closure? Are we servicing this hotel? No, we are not. Can we go to, oh yeah, that's half a world away. Right, okay. Interesting, that was a town with two hotels. It's not that far off our network, but this was not the area that we were working in. Um, anyway, uh, what I wanted to do was over here, and I accidentally opened it, but looking at it, I mean, it's not the running cost or anything, you know. Uh, well, our air we need to have a look at our aircraft. I see minuses on the income, then I know things are not good. But for the rest, it doesn't really look all that bad, to be honest. I mean, we are making a good bit of profit, you know. Speedynet is healthy again. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, and we're going to make it even more healthy by this time. Uh, and also, what, what was to be seen over here? Oh. That's interesting. This amounts to a total of... 62 million. Where Where is that 62 million accounted for in the books? Oh, that's a property maintenance. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Look at how expensive our stations are. Big stations can really, really do you in. You need to have stations that are suitable and do make their profit back. Ha! Huh. That's interesting. Also, roads, not that expensive. Tramway, a lot more expensive. Or is it now? Tramway is actually cheaper, it seems. But I don't like trams all that much. I've come to terms with trams now that the vehicles for roads are far superior. And electrified railway as well, man. That's also quite a bit more expensive. Now, granted, with the building that we do, I mean, where is the construction? That's and and the new vehicles. Basically, we have like an 11 million in the plus. So there is a bit of leeway here. We can't expend too much. I think we have like 18 million or something to... Uh, a year to uh, expand. And of course, we are also reaping more profit too. Good, having looked at all these important stats, let us connect up the town of Seston and then also connect up this stuff over here. So we have some building to do. Oh, we have a new bauxite mine coming, apparently. Let me just have a quick gander at where that is. Never mind. <laughs> it is not of interest. This, this is bauxite heaven along with the scrapyard and the... St <gasps> of course, nowhere is an uh, aluminium plant to be spotted nearby. And then there's another big cluster. And that's, is this? That's it. Wow, this, this is like heaven. With the scrapyards and the bauxite mines. And uh, it's all these advanced factories, but none of them really is like an aluminium plant. And there's one, which is across the sea. Interesting territory all the way over here near uh, Bonway and Sandbridge. I don't think we're gonna be over there anytime soon, if ever. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, nice to know, uh, not of interest. Now, 
back to over here. Uh, let us continue with the station. Whoa, 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 guys, do you see what I see over here? We have this old log here that can carry 35 tons at only 56 kilometers an hour. And then there is this ultra speed model, which can carry less at 1.5 the speed, but it's not only at three quarters of the capacity. It is uh, more, is it? Yeah, this difference is only 8 ton, which means that, technically speaking, this is better. This is a higher reliability though, so it's a bit... Yeah, what, what are you gonna do, right? Uh, not use you. So, yeah, we're in a catch-22 here, I feel. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with the bigger capacity one. Even though there is, yeah, th th these are cheaper, uh, and now there is an interesting fact here. Uh, where is it? This is operating profit, but I'm not interested in that. There is another graph here, cargo payment rates. Yes, disable all, and then have a look at bauxite. Speed is not really of the essence. If you take booze, it is much more of the essence. Uh, and if we have a look at fruit, for example, much more important. Uh, so for bauxite it isn't. Look at let's look at passengers and mail, goods too. Is there even more like, recyclable? Ah uh, oh well. Anyway, um, so yeah, we don't need speed. So I'm gonna go with this one. But uh, I hadn't seen this one, you know. This was uh, was new for me. So. Yeah, continuing on. Alright guys, um, we have yet another bauxite train. Uh, it does have quite a ways to run, but in fairness, uh, wait, you do not take any bauxite from where you were just running? Was there nothing for you to pick up there? Oh yeah, there was, you just loaded really quickly. <laughs> okay, I guess so. Anyway, um, so now that we have pretty much everything in place, for uh, you know, resource hauling and, and all that jazz. I think it's time for phase two in, in the grand scheme of things. Now, just out of curiosity, because we're kind of running a small town growth program over here. I think that we are seeing a uh, 
growing Van Wellridge here. I think we're seeing a growing Warningville here. I think we're not seeing a growing Fredding Hall, but that's only because of the mail restrictions. And now that uh, we have set up a mail network to everywhere, uh, I, I do expect more mail to be generated. Oh wow, look, look, at, look at you being the big town over here. Bed food. Is that, is that a town that we can even see? It isn't. No, it is over there. Anyway, um, so I think it is time uh, that we start doing something uh, with the supplies that we're generating. Oh, and also uh, it is time that we do something with the amount of metal still here. Because this train here is loaded with metal, yet uh, there is still some left there. So I think that what we need to do here is just get ourselves another one. There. <laughs> it's 400,000 as well for just the one train. Oh, and in hindsight, I should have built that over there in that deep over. So now that we have uh, the metal being taken care of, um, I think what we should do is get a train to surface the bauxite mines from over here. And what a better way to do that than just start with the one train. Now, as far as the bauxite mines is concerned, we have two here. Uh, oh, and apparently I did count wrong at last video. <laughs> I never checked, <laughs> but you know, you know uh, I am pretty bad at uh, mathematics, me, right? <laughs> now, um, as for the bauxite mines, we don't really have that many per station. It's like three over here. Uh, this one has its own station, now it's two actually over here, so that also means two over here, one there, three on this one, uh, and two on this, no, also three on that one, and then two for this one. So, all in all, it isn't that much. Oh my goodness! I, I, I believe that we have some fruit to take care of. Oh yeah, most definitely. Now you are carrying a lot, but the amount of fruit here is uh, serious business. I think we need to uh, clone yet another train here. Wow, <laughs> that was a bit unexpected. <laughs> Let's see, where where are the old fruit train? Fruit train, be cloned. We, al we also don't need to uh, have that be uh, timetabled or anything because this is all drop-off stuff except no, I even believe that you as a fruit plantation drop your stuff over at at, at, at Dustin Woods I believe I could be mistaken but I do believe a lot to be the case so. anyway uh, that means even more fruit for the fruit god <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I guess let's set up the, um, the tray. Now, with the three bauxite mines, we know that it needs 84 uh, per three months. The cycle is going to be long, so that means that I want a capacity on the train, if it's feasible, of 252 um, supply thingies. So, look at the money as well that's going to be made over here. Th this, this is going to be like some proper true profits. Look at it. Booyah. 71,000 in my pocket. I like it. Now, as for the, um, the engineering supplies. Engineering supplies need to be carried fast, but also with the... No, thank you. Also with a lot of attractive effort, because it's going to be a long train. So, yeah, let me quickly set up a train for this, right?
right, guys, I think that we got it covered. Um, and I also do notice uh, that uh, the traffic burden over here is uh, starting to increase. And that is soon basically uh, about to explode as we have two metal trains going up and down here. And with the scrap that we're getting into this, I think we uh, and the added bauxite mines, we might even boost this up to a thousand tons of metal. And that is without the improvement of the engineering supplies. By the way, just out of curiosity, do we have uh, another scrapyard close by? I would really like that. Scrap, scrap, where are thou? There. And then we need to have them. Okay, that's not that's not very promising. Let's close off this just so that I know that we're not missing anything. Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> there is really only the one. I should not make myself any illusions about uh, there may be more or something. No, it's only the one. <laughs> Yeah, there, there is literally only the one. But we do need to sort of clean this up a little bit, I feel. Um, if we want to expand this with uh, even more trains using these routes here. And I do feel uh, that, that is uh, the greater goal. Oh, look, look at this. Uh, look at our farm supplies uh, going down. And look at the traffic jam over here. Now, let me guess that... Uh, Oh, there's also traffic here. Ah, well, maybe my whole idea of, no, we don't need to change it over here, was maybe a little bit misjudged. And then again, there is pretty much always a little bit of traffic here. However, it used to be uh, only traffic jams here. What? Wait, didn't I? say that I did not want these long loading trains here. How exactly is this? Yeah, just clear, change, no, cancel. Reset late counter, clear, clear time. And also reset the late counter. Okay, I guess I have some fixing to do. This is causing the issues, even though... I don't know. I have not timetabled it yet. Somehow, it is still timetabled. I guess it's like, if, if you leave it on long enough, it kind of ingrains in the memory of the train or something. <laughs> I don't know. It almost seems like they're human beings, huh? <laughs> anyway, uh, this should greatly help with the throughput. Um, so yeah, I guess basically what we have to do now is just leave this uh, running for a while. Look, and there's already our very first uh, engineering supplies. Oh man, how good is that? So uh, from now on, uh, I guess, well, we, I said we can leave it uh, running for a while. I could not be more wrong, to be honest, uh, because we also need to set up some uh, supply vehicles, which I might have forgotten <laughs> for just now. So let me quickly set up all these supply vehicles, right?
Alright guys, I do think we have everything covered right now uh, and the statement that I made just a moment ago is now only all the more true. Uh, we just need to let it run for a little while and I have to... So, oh my good lord, <laughs> it isn't like we just have a little bit of... Uh, of uh, production over here. Jeez man, <laughs> it's like a million of production. Wow, look at that. And then we have engineering supplies. Now, here is the risk with the current setup with uh, not that many uh, and very big trains. One of these stations that need the supplies might miss out on a uh, load, you know. If, if, like, for example, right in front of this train would have been the engineering supplies train, it would come into the station, find no engineering supplies, leave, and then there would be a whole load. Stuff like that can uh, happen, probably will happen. The only way to tackle it is to increase the amount of trains. Uh, we'll have to see if it becomes an issue. For the time being, I think we should just leave it running for a little while. Uh, how exciting that even might be. Uh, I think, for example, yeah, you have gone Gung-Ho Quadruple. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, it's also the scrap metal thing, which uh, in theory, you know, if you look at like uh, at, at the bottom line, it does produce the most per ton. So it's actually good that that got the first load. Uh, another thing I noticed is over here we have an issue with this bauxite mine. I, be or, uh, I believe this one, because I've set the uh, supply train uh, for this stop, the Manford bauxite mine. Yeah, to just unload it here. And what we should do is have... Um, we should have it transfer over here as well. And then what we're gonna do is... Uh, we're gonna do some fancy works here. But just watch me be clever. Uh, <laughs> I, I hope I am clever. <laughs> with the... With the... With the... The commands, you know, the directions, the stops, the route. Being me, damage the master planner. Uh, so, and then that. Now you might be thinking, like, so you're do you're doing it twice over here? Yeah. Uh, which basically we have to because. The trick is here, this also accepts engine engineering supplies. So what we need to do is we're gonna have it load for Manford Valley, uh, unload at Manford Valley, or, uh, yeah, so that's actually this box of mine. Then we're gonna have it load, skip Manford Valley, uh, so no unloading and no loading. And no unloading. Uh, I, you can't even load, so no, no unloading. Just no unloading. What did I say? Uh, <laughs> okay, I hope I hope this works. Well, we'll, we'll give it a shot. The idea is that it picks up the the uh, the cargo, and then. Oh, you know, you know what we can do? Uh, I just only now realized that there are waypoints. Are oh, there not? There should be waypoints. Uh, what are these? Are these traffic lights? Because we don't really need them. Uh, and this is only... Oh, okay. So there is no waypoints. Right. I'm not entirely sure about the command here. Uh, like the go on if other vehicle arrives. So... We'll, we'll give it a go. If, if this... Uh, or if this bauxite mine does not increase the production... Then we knew it did not work. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, um, having said all that, you know, and explained our intentions, 
I think we, and that is, has been a suggestion uh, in the comments, which I think was a very good one. What we should do is have a look at the older parts of the network, say like over here, and have a look at what bridges we have used and whether or not uh, these are still uh, the right ones in terms of speed. Now, I swear that we have... Uh, this is vi yeah, Viaduct Stone and that is a 177 kilometers an hour. Which even the fast trains that we have cannot go. So... <laughs> I guess that was the bridge check that I needed to do. <laughs> Done. <laughs> even over here, I guess even these bridges are still good. Yeah. Oh, there is a scrapyard here. Ah, oh, but that's only for the metal, not for the. Uh, not for this. I don't. I don't think you take scrap. No, you don't. Okay, so far so good for the metal then. Uh, <laughs> uh, there was another thing that I wanted to do uh, whilst we are waiting for our bauxite production to basically kick into high gear because that is what's gonna happen soon TM uh, it's basically just gonna kick into high gear and are you are you loaded with scrap or do you have capacity you are absolutely loaded with scrap so there is a real chance that I need to Increase your capacity at some point. Now, but what I what what, what I'm what, what I'm itching to do basically is redo all of these tracks. Not just this, because this this is a mess and it's, it doesn't have any room for any capacity increase. Uh, also this, and uh, to an extent, then also this. Basically, what I want, and I've said it before, but I'll repeat it again. What I want is for these tracks to run over here, and then basically have one junction that go, you know, like a full-blown junction, basically that goes over here, over here, and over there. And then these tracks are basically going to be a goner because we're going to hook up the station to this track going straight, basically. And then just have a simple junction and not one of these like two-way complicated things. Now, if we were to do that, that would mean a lot of track reworks and a lot of investment. I think that will, will be one of those major operations. And for the moment, stuff is more or less running. You know what we could also do? We could also grab some easy money, because uh, we currently have this <laughs> producing a whopping 2,000 liters of alcohol. <laughs> wow. Uh, let me just have a quick look at the chain, because it does say it needs manufacturing supplies. Is there an easy way for us to do this? Uh, all we would need is just a small bit of manufacturing, but like recycling plants, for example. Can't we just do recyclables and then it, wait, that produces scrap metal? You don't say. All of a sudden, I want to have a look at the map. This is a, uh, well, I think that it's, clear uh, when it says zero. So, so far, so good for the idea of the recyclables. <laughs> Not today. All right, is there more easy low-hanging fruits like a paper mill? What do you need? Clay, wood, chemicals. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, is there any, is there like a clay pit or, or of sorts nearby? I mean, it would be really nice just to boost its production even further. You know, we don't need much. It's not like we need a volume or anything. It's just, let me see here, clay pit. You don't say. And then it was a paper mill, right? Paper mill? 
Oh, this is also tiny. You don't say. Huh. Now that is very, very interesting. That will make manufacturing supplies then. And the paper mill is there, which is in reach of a harbor. And basically these clay pits, except for this one, this one would need to be ferried by a road vehicle. This one can be accessed directly, I believe. I believe. Oh. Oh, yes, yes. So this can be accessed directly. So in theory, right, guys, we can have this supply goods and manufacturing supplies. And the question is, is there something else that we're using right now that benefits from manufacturing supplies? What I'm thinking is this. No, it doesn't. It does not. It does not need it. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> I was really hoping it would, because that would mean like a big boost in productivity. Nor does the one over there need any of it, really. And neither does. I believe this is only really like a ferry hub, so. This is very interesting. Now, wh why are we looking at that? Because I want to start uh, transporting the booze that we have. I mean, there's a lot of it, and we're not currently not doing anything with it. Nothing. And I feel like uh, that's a little bit of a missed opportunity on our end. Question is, though, is there, like, anything regarding towns with harbors that we have nearby? Absolutely not. So, if we were to do anything with it, it would all have to be started from scratch. Now, I do believe that there are towns that accept it, like, well, these hotels do accept uh, booze, right? Yeah, they, they require food and alcohol. So we could just ferry it to the hotels that are close to the waterside. Let's just start with that and then see what we can do. I mean, you, you do not even accept that call. That's interesting. So basically, I guess there, there is only this, uh, this hotel then. Okay, <laughs> let's, uh, let, let's do the hotel here first. Uh, so that actually means that we can, for a change, have well, that would be the Freddingham Freddingham Hotel or Fringwall Ridge Hotel. I mean, let's go with the Freddingham Hotel. Now, how was it again with alcohol and the uh, the, the cargo payment rates, right? Alcohol. Yeah, that is quite. Uh, that that does benefit quite a lot from speed. The uh, maximum speed is what we need. Uh, and you, refitable to all but gear ratio. Are we just gonna have like this real big steamliner? No, we're gonna have this one, <laughs> which is uh, only one kilometer slower, but it costs a hell of a lot less. The, I mean, these, these, the, these four fully rigged masts, these these ships are just too good to not use. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's really cheap, you know. It's just a bit of uh, imbalance in the, all the mods in the pack. But these ships are just so good <laughs> that I cannot resist using them. <laughs> now, another thing... Uh, oh, wait. Did I set up your cargo holds? Yeah. Another thing that I'm very curious to is whether or not this will increase its passenger production now that it gets alcohol. I mean, that's definitely something to keep an eye on. Uh, and something that we're gonna discover, you know, at some point in the future. Right, I think what we should do, you know, to, le to leave this uh, with a bit of time to mature, 
We should uh, quickly snag these clay pits and bring the clay uh, via water uh, over to... I say via water, but then of course this is all inaccessible like that. I guess what we need to do is we need to open a waterway over here. Right, we're gonna do it via water. But it is going to be uh, with a little bit of work. So let's get on with it. Alrighty guys, I think we got it all covered. The only thing uh, I question is whether or not uh, these boats are big enough. I mean, you saw me looking at the other boat that is also available. Uh, this one, the Rockall Freighter. Might be that I should have taken that. Now this uh, chip, 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 chip. <laughs> That one's uh, definitely overkill, but this uh, this this Rockall Freighter is also cheap to run. Uh, it's a bit more expensive to buy, but it also does go two kilometers an hour faster. You know? I mean that makes a difference, but it's not all that much. So anyway, um, I think with that we should see the production of the booze over here increase to even greater heights. Yeah, as for you, are you telling me that you, yeah, you've made profit, it's just that, yeah, that goes by boatload, so that makes it a little bit difficult to see, like, uh, how things are actually faring, because it's a bit haphazard. As for over here, for the engineering supplies, Gunho... Uh, normal, but that was because you were the first one on the on the route. How are the other mines going? I just want to have a quick peek. You are on normal production. You are on a normal production. You are on a Gunhu quadruple. You are on normal. That means that my clever contraption does not work. That much I do know right now. Are you the one with the, uh, you are the one with the engineering supplies. Right, 
Uh, that means that we're gonna do this uh, in a different way. We're gonna delete that waypoint and we're gonna say go to the depot. Uh, and then to the bauxite mine again. Uh, and then it's what should happen is that the load from the station should then also be delivered to this mine. Uh, anyway, uh, normal, normal, normal. It's a bit difficult to tell. Uh, that might also be mainly because of the way this works out. And wow, do we have a lot of metal over here. Yeah, it might be the amount of wow and our fruit. Look, look at look at our fruit. It's not even declining. Do we have that much fruit over here? I swear it wasn't that much. Also, we have supplies, but the mines are still normal. Right. I guess what we need is not just one more fruit train. How about another more fruit train? Wait. You can't find a path to continue? What happened? The whole thing has come to a complete deadlock and has been so for... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Well guys, I think that we have something to fix over here next time! when we play more Open TTD.